Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If I look more homeless than usual, it's because my girlfriend made me shave. So every week I get a couple people asking me how to make some quick gold to buy a wild token before their sub runs out. And my answer has pretty much always been the same. Grind a couple basic farms a little every day. That way you can focus on doing other content you enjoy and less on panic farming when your sub is near its end. I still think that this is the best way to pay for your sub, but recently I've discovered a farm that may help those of you who are near the end of your subscription and desperately need gold to buy a resubscription. Don't forget, if you find this video helpful and want to stay tuned for more World of Warcraft content, make sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on. I also stream on Twitch pretty much every weekday where I play a variety of games, so feel free to hit me up with a follow on Twitch, link down in the description below. Now before we get on with the video, it's important for you to know that this farm is really RNG. The spot we're farming however does have a high mob density so you're going to be getting a lot of drop chances. Drop chances for what you may ask? Golden Mane. I personally love the look of this mount, it would definitely be on my list of favorites if I had one. But we're not in the sentimental business, we're here to pawn it off to a random stranger with the equine fetish for another 30 day Azeroth hall pass. This farm is located in Stormsong Valley at these coordinates. I'm going to show you an aerial view of the location so you can get a good idea of where the mobs spawn and how best to funnel them to their deaths. While this farm is easily doable on a reasonably geared solo 120 player, it's best to do it in a group to get the mobs to hyper spawn. That way you're killing a lot more mobs. First I'm going to show you how to run this as a 5 man group. You're going to want to position a Brewmaster Monk with an Arc Statue at X, as well as a DPS that can burst on groups or bats quickly. A melee DPS is recommended, but any will do. A good DPS could be something like a Demon Hunter with some Twilight Devastation, but whatever is quick to cleave groups will work. The melee DPS generally hangs around X and helps the monk cleave the adds, but typically he or she makes sure that all the mobs in the barn located at A are brought to the statue at X. The next three slots in the group are generally reserved for three range DPS. I prefer balance as they have quick cast high range abilities that are great at tagging, but again any range DPS will do. Their job is not to kill the mobs, but rather to tag and funnel them to the statue located at X for the melee DPS to burst them down. The reason all the mobs need to die near the statue is to ensure that everyone in the group can easily loot all the corpses without having to move too far from their rotation. I will position these ranged DPS at B, C and D with the following areas to tag and funnel to X. Once all the mobs are dead, they will hyper respawn. You simply have to rinse and repeat. You can also farm the spot in two groups of four, also known as a 2x4. The idea is pretty much the same, but all you need to know is that two monk statues at both X's as well as two melee DPS at both X's to burst the adds down. The remaining four DPS can continue as usual, but make sure to split one statue and one melee DPS between each of the groups. I like to earn some extra gold by carrying a synchronous thread with me. It allows Tide Spray Linen, Deep Sea Satin and Gilded Sea Weave to drop, which is just more gold towards a sub. If you want to vendor shuffle the Tide Spray Linen for some easy raw gold, make sure to check out my other video where I show you how to do that, link in the description below. I myself have failed to get this mount, but only because I'm notoriously unlucky. Every single group I've farmed this with have successfully gotten at least 2 to 3 of these golden boys. It supposedly has a 1 in 3000 drop chance and one of my viewers got 2 in less than 500 kills. Wanna guess how many times I've tried to farm for this mount? That's right, 13,000 attempts. Hope you guys have better luck than I did. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. What is your favorite mount in BFA and have you managed to get it yet? Thanks again for watching the video, my name is Closure and I'll make sure to see you guys in the next one. Cheerio.